Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Here we are for episode number 7 of our Car Mechanic career, Brito's Restorations. Um, this episode, I was thinking we will um, start putting things together from underneath. Um, have some parts that are still good, some parts that are not still good, so I'm thinking we'd like to get the whole thing sort of rebuilt, so rear axle drive in, uh, leaf springs, I need another leaf spring, and we're going to need some rubber bushings, aren't we? Alright, let's go into here, going to go uh, leaf spring, rubber bushing, it's going to grab a fair few, let's get 20 of each just in case. Sorry guys, just had to sneeze again. I do apologise. I don't know what's going on with me lately. It's bloody terrible. Uh, leaf spring plate. Alright, so let's go add to the list. Uh, U bolt, I've got one. So let's go add to list. Two and then three. Shock absorber, no. So we need to add two of those to our list. I'm hoping we have enough money to um, get this thing fully put back together, not like our last attempt where we had to sort of give up halfway through um, <laughs> restoring it. Obviously we don't do uh, body restoration, but eventually, long term, hopefully we will. So just a single muffler as well. Don't think we'll have any of these exhaust parts. Alright, so let's go back into our shop. Go through our shopping list. So we want leaf spring plate. Yes. What? Three of you. Rear shock absorber B. We want two of you. Fuel tank. One uh, muffler, we want a middle muffler, a rear muffler V8 overhead valve. There we go. That'll at least give us some more stuff to put in. Let's clear our list. Uh, get out of there. There we go. Rear shock in. Rear shock on this side as well. You know, U-bolts either side, and then we can look at what we need after this. Also going to need a um, fuel pump for our fuel tank, but we'll get that um, fuel tank put in first, and we'll look at the pump afterwards. Rear axle knuckle housing B. Okay, we don't... Whoop. Don't really need to add that to there. So two of you. Let's go. Fuel. Pump. No, not a fuel fuel type. Fuel pump. It's just a standard one. Yeah, it's just a standard one. I think. I think. Yeah, it should be just a standard. Yep, yeah, fuel pump. We already have one in our bloody inventory. Housing B, do we have any wheel hubs? We have one. So we can add a wheel hub to the list. We have one rear drive axle. Um, where are we going? This side. Go back to this side. Grab this so we can add that to the list. Then we're going to need our brake components, which we have. Um, brake shoe, drum wheel, cylinder. Okay. Oop, wrong button. Keep pressing I. I don't know if we can press T to go to um, the shop. What else do we need? We needed wheel hub 4. 
solid rear drive axle. There we go. Again, press T just to go to tablet. That'll be much easier. Don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Alright, so let's put these side together. But nearly the whole rear end will be finished pretty quickly. Brake shoe. Brake drum. Oop, rim classic. Oh, they're all the same. 155 70 14s. Just went with the standard um, that was already on the car. As I said, it's going to be a restoration, so we're trying to go back to original. We will get to the point where we start doing some performance. Some performance vehicles, I suppose. Alright, so there we go, that's the rear end fully put together. Value 17,000. Alright, let's have a look at the front end now, which... Oh, I don't know. We'll oh, get to that one, there we go. Um, we've got two of those, good. Must have been able to redo both of those. Alright, so we want the front axle knuckle cover. Front sway bar we don't have. Uh, what else do we have? Shock absorber? What about steering rack? Nope. Uh, none of this other stuff we can get from here. So front shock absorber A. Which obviously we need to put together. Joint parts? No, nothing. Okay, so let's have a look at our shop. I don't know why I didn't press T that time. Front. Shock absorber A. Front spring times two. Front shock absorber cap times two. No, we need that. Front suspension cross member. Front axle knuckle cover. Times two. Front sway bar. and steering rack done um, let's go to the front here we go let's clear our parts list cross memory and we can put in our bushings I also throw a steering rack there I know we're probably gonna have too many oops too many uh, bushings and stuff but you can never have too many, and they're so cheap anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Front sway bar in. Uh, inner tie rod. No, I don't think we have any inner tie rods. So let's add you. Times two. We don't need inner and outer tie rods, we know that much. Front knuckle covers. Front wheel hub, oh, we've got two of those, good. So eventually we'll get to this, the time when we're at a higher level where we don't have to actually um, buy anything, we can just repair everything, so it'll work really well. Um, so I'm for brake, cal two calipers, two cylinders, yes. So we need pads. Pads and ventilated this for the front. Alright, let's put these shockies together. Right, ventilated disc, we'll go with our pads, go with our caliper. I don't know if we're going to have enough um, time to get the whole thing put together, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. It'd be good if we could get the whole car done this episode. Okay, so if we hold that and let's press enter, enter, it gives you the best things, so that's easy. We don't even have to use our mouse. Uh, wheel hub bearing won't have any. Ooh, lower suspension. Oh, okay. Let's go. Lower suspension arm times two. Okay, inner tie rod, outer tie rod. 
Um, bearing. I know we're going to need like a front drive axle too, but I'm not quite sure exactly which one it's going to be. Alright, so put the shock in this side. Lower suspension arm. Inner tie rod, outer tie rod. Do we have any? No. Grab two of those, front sway bar and link A's. Let's go over to this side. I don't think we did put the bearing on the other side. Can we get it from here? There we go. Easy peasy. Put out in a tie rod. Swing around, get it out of tie rod. Keep forgetting to screw things in. Right, there we go. Sway bar end link, and we need wheel hub cap. So wheel hub cap. Um, what was it? The sway bar front end link A. Was that it? I think so. Uh, what else are we missing? This sway bar end link A before we can put the tire on. The hub cap. Okay, where's our end link? Look at that, all underneath is now done. This thing is going to be awesome. So unfortunately the body is not going to be quite um, what we want it to be, but frame condition, interior condition, um, trunk, fenders, all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to worry about the body stuff because if we do go to replace it um, as you guys know it's going to be the wrong colour oops wish there was a way that we could just um, be able to add it to the list without actually having to click on too much radiator A done battery we won't have Is that it? That's all we can get for now. So let's go back into the shop. Intermediate housing rot A. Let's go fuel filter battery. Battery in easy. Filter in easy. I think we need the crankshaft rot A. We got that? Yes, we do. Awesome. Some things were lucky enough to. Well, we were lucky enough. God damn, up, down, up, down. We were lucky enough to repair, not have to spend any money on, so that's, that's a good thing. Alright, uh, rotor, rot A, no. Alright, okay, so let's go into here Ooh. where are we rotor rot A two of those guys Only one in the front one in the rear ok so we don't have one of those Front side housing we do, good. Water pump we don't have. No, not you. Alternator we don't have. Must you have a sprocket? No, we don't have one of those. Make shaft counterweight, we don't have one of those either. So much easier, as I said, if we could just. I don't think we have any plugs, no. We need four. Spark plugs. Much easier if we didn't have to manually put everything in the shopping list. We could just click on one thing, 
Rear side. Housing block. Rot A. Water pump. Rotary A. Alternator. Crankshaft counterweight. Rotary A. Sprocket. Rotary A. We've already got the spark plugs. Oh, good. Oop. So we're making good progress on this thing, so we might be lucky enough to not have to get the rest done next episode. Shaft counterweight. Sprocket. Model roller B. No, we don't have. So let's clear our list. Don't think we'll have a timing chain. Go Sparkies. Oil filter we don't have. Take manifold we shouldn't have. Um, what else is there? Do we? No, we don't have the timing chain. Do we? No. the flywheel. Don't have a flywheel yet. Don't think. Auto roller B. Let's go timing chain rotary A. Wheel filter rotary intake manifold rotary B. Radiator fan housing. So close to getting this thing put back together. Well, we already had one. You idiot. Oh well. We'll lose a little bit of money by doubling up on some things, but I'm not really that worried, I guess. Let's crank sharp pulley. That was this rotary arm A we don't have. No, we don't have a rotary arm B. We won't have the dizzy, I don't think. No. Got that. Carby, we do. Awesome. What about our air filter base? No. Do we have anything as far as air filter goes? don't. We do have the distributor rotor. That's a good thing. It's got a little bit of money left, so not too worried. Um, a, rotary A, arm B, or this arm rot B. There we go. Ignition distributor. We've got that. Rotary B, no doubt. Air filter. Base. Rotary B. Air filter. Rotary B. Alright, let's see how much we got then. We've got the base. We've got the filter. Got the top. Oh, they clip A's. I need two more clip A's. Give us a bit of extra room so we can see. So two clip A's and probably two clip B's I would say. Uh, where is that? The oh, arm. Um, there it is. Start to clear some lists. Actually, I think, do we have one of these? Yes, we do. No, we need not a roll of B. Uh, we're going to need ignition wires, yep. And two clip Bs, two clip As. Two 
Let's go clip. So clip B. Clip A. Serpentine belt A. Rotary A. Auto roller B. We've got ignition wires rotary B. Right, so ignition wires go on. There's these clips there. Oop. Clip B, there we go. Let's put this belt on. Put this other model roller on. We need a model roller A. Alright, there we go. That should nearly be the engine done. see a couple of little things but get in there pretty close so shopping list let's go auto roller a and the serpentine belt rotary b so that's a roller belt oh, we need another oh come on Auto roller A. So I know a lot of people have agreed with me that the whole shopping thing is a little bit frustrating, but um, it is what it is, I suppose. So we need to get the flywheel and all that sort of stuff as well. So let's go up. Um, starter, drive shaft. So we need everything, everything gearbox related. Beautiful, there we go. Let's go to the flywheel. No, clutch plate. Pressure plate. Bearing. Gearbox, which we're lucky enough to fix. It saved us a lot of cash. Um, the starter, which we fixed as well, which is good. Um, I don't think we have, no, I don't think we had any exhaust parts that we saved. The drive shaft on, and I think the exhaust manifold, the sump, and some oil, and we're good to go, I think. Alright, let's go. section. Front exhaust section rotary B. There we go. Go to there. Zoom in a little bit too far away then. Uh, let's have a quick look. I think that is everything. Well we did get that done quick enough. Which is a bit of a surprise, but I'll right, put some oil in it. Be able to start her up. Take it for a test run. Got yeah, oil full. Shut the hood. Let's move you to the entrance. Love these cars, these cars look awesome. Alright, she started straight away. Um, 39,000 plus a 3 grand restoration bonus. We'd probably get a high restoration bonus, maybe if we do replace all the bodies, the body stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile doing that, really. Uh, let's go. Where are we going to go? Race track. Off-road track. The test track. Go to the abandoned airport. Why not? Go and have a look. Take this thing out for a spin. See what she's like before we, we sell it. So I'm not sure how much um, money we're going to make off this. 
really take any notice. So I guess I'll need to write down how much we sell it for. Then I'll work out how much we brought it for and all that sort of stuff and go from there. But it's pretty loud, isn't it? Screenshot. Donuts. <laughs> Donuts aren't very good. Oh, there we go. Can't restore a car without doing some donuts. So that was um, quite a good build, I think. Um, I think we're going to probably stay away from a few builds for now and try and just get some more um, experience points up, really. Let's have a look. So, sell for 4, 2. Let me write this down. 4, 2, 3, 7, 4. I'm writing it down with a highlighter, so that probably isn't a good thing. There we go. So that brought in a little bit of cash for us. That's good. That's our first full restoration, minus the body, of course. Um, I think, as I said, we'll do a few other jobs and um, just continue to build our experience. So we at least need to get to level 12. We're going to expand our garage, um, get another lift, and then we can also go to the junkyard and have a look around there. But until we sort of get to the point where, uh, where is it? Here, no. Where's the body repair? Repair body parts, there we go. I think that's what we really need to sort of work towards body repair so that's level 35 so we are a long way away from level 35 but um that's our long-term goal if you guys enjoyed this one as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know if you've been enjoying the series so far uh, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been Brito. thanks for watching see you again soon